this is fun, yay! <laughs> so, we live in the woods, but even though we live in the woods, like we're still, you know, shocked when we see deer and we're so excited. <laughs> and so um, we had put some bird seed and apples and carrots out. And so I, there's like little baby deers all over our yard. I'm gonna go through and answer some of your questions um, the best I can. And then we'll kind of just see where it goes. Okay, so. I want to start with Tom and what he's asked me about what I think about video ads on Facebook and Instagram and bomb bomb with KB core with that, I'm going to give you all that are on here, a gift, five tips for using video with KB core. I talk about understanding and setting up your video tools that you have in, in KB core and a process for prepping and publishing video. Um, sending video messages in a text or email campaign, um, uh, embedding video in a blog post or custom page, and also putting video in landing pages. I actually, what's ironic is I actually did this video the same day that KV Core came out with their bomb bomb integration. And so what's nice about this training is I'm teaching you all the ways to do it for free without you upgrading to bomb bomb inside kb core however i will tell you that, that using the bomb bomb stuff is kind of cool if you're into that um but i've got a lot of ideas for video and, and publishing video um on you know a variety of sources um and how you know the tools i use to do my videos so that's thing one so what i think about video is you know it's where it's at and you have to think about what is it that you want to do with video on social media and why. Um, I also talk about, you know, doing just video walkthrough videos of homes. Anytime you have a listing, anytime you show a house that you think is really cool, after the buyers leave, I'll usually stay and say, oh, you guys, I got to do a video to show everybody this house I just showed them. What's great about video is people watch it and you can get stuff from it and you don't usually have to boost it, but you could. Anyway, I'm all for video and video on Facebook is gold. And so you should be doing it. But to further answer your question, let's um, revisit the bomb bomb option inside KB Core for a minute, because that's what we're here to talk about. Everybody who has KB Core gets Core Video. However, you only get the option to send 10 individual video email messages a month for free. If you want to also send video text messages, or you want to send more than 10 messages a month, or you want to build videos inside campaigns, you have to upgrade to the $30 a month. Now, again, to remind you, this class teaches you how to do that for free. This guy um, responded to one of my emails. So now, now notice his name is why me well you know that's not his actual name <laughs> so i had emailed him just automatic default emails that says hey excuse my persistence but i noticed i've you shown interest in real estate on my website so he's gotten a few messages for me and he replied back and said you know i'm just uh just looking recently retired newly single and um i don't know where i'm gonna land basically and i said okay you know thanks for letting me know what's your name I only have why me and he let me know his name was Bill. So great. I'm going to change this now to Bill. I'm going to, I'm going to send him a message. I'm going to show you how to do this. I showed you before I'm going to do it again. But I'm going to send him a video message right now in front of y'all. One trick with bomb bomb is to create, uh, you know, it's like if you have a whiteboard, like I have at home, a little whiteboard where um, it's just like this big and I can, it's like one of those dry eraser boards and I can put the person's name you know, there or I can put, you know, there, like if I wanted to do a birthday message, I could say happy birthday, Bill, or, <laughs> or just their name, hi, Bill. But I only have sticky notes here at the office. So I'm going to do this right now. All right. I'm going to do it right now. See what I come up with. I'm just going to be amazing. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna make sure I look cute-ish. Okay, maybe not like that. Okay, there, all right. <laughs> I tried, it didn't really work. <laughs> all right. 
Hi, Bill, it's Sylvia with eXp Realty and thanks for giving me your name. And just um, let me know if you do have questions. I understand you're kind of in transition and maybe you don't know what you're gonna do, buy, sell, move, stay, go. But just let me know if there is any questions that I can answer for you, any help I can provide. And I hope you have a good rest of your week. Thanks, bye. So just that's, you know, I'm just responding because he responded to my default email. Um, and uh, so I'm going to give him this personal message. So this is a way, what I like about this system, it's a way to be very personal with that lead to help convert them because, you know, the trick to converting online leads is to get them to like, you know, you trust you, right? And um, what you can do here is you can add a, a call to action. So this is my instant home value call to action. And then, so anyway, what I like about this is, you know, I'm kind of helping him get to know who I am, maybe feel more comfortable. And so when he is ready to do something, hopefully I can be his realtor, you know, or maybe he'll see me and like that girl's crazy, <laughs> you know, who knows? I don't care, you know? Um, so, so I'm going to say, I'm going to say hi. Um, thanks for letting me know your real estate situation. I'm here when you're ready or have questions. Thank you, exclamation point, and include my signature. And then I'm going to say, um, nice to meet you. Okay, and uh, then I'm just going to send that baby. Ta-da! I do like, you know, the option again, for free, you can send up to 10 email messages individually like that a month. But if you want to also send text or you want to um, create some of these uh, messages inside campaigns inside KB Core, then you have to upgrade to the $30 a month. And you would do that inside the marketplace. So Tom, did that sort of, answer some questions that you had i yeah. thought that was awesome you know i don't know if you follow tom ferry but like before he does a listing presentation mm -hmm. we'll get two people together he'll get a little whiteboard he'll put a picture of the house and he'll be like yeah we're strategizing we're planning your, your presentation yeah. we're going to be over next week and he sends us yeah. out he gets like every listing right? you know yeah no so that, I, was really I think good. that was really good yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, because so there's so many things you can do with that. Um, I'm going to be doing with it is, um, and you can do that again, you do, can do this um, without bomb bomb, but I'm going to be doing a version like that of a of like getting a seller prepared for what's going to happen or getting a buyer prepared for what's going to happen, like educating them on certain things like your EMD, you know, what's an earnest money deposit. Um, you know, what's an inspection, you know, what's going to happen now, blah, 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 you know, and I'm going to make a little video series and then create a campaign out of it for my, my buyers and sellers under contract. But I'm just going to create this on YouTube and build um, the campaign inside KB Core um, to go out um, on, you know, but it's going to be YouTube messages, I think. And, um, and again, in this class, uh, I teach you how to, to do video in general in the simplest way possible and then um you can how to send it through kb core um, but if you wanted to use bomb bomb for those really personal touches i think it's the way to go i see a lot of folks putting together like 15 second uh video ads uh -huh. and posting them on Facebook and Instagram and getting like a lot of clicks based on, I've heard that it's more effective than just a picture or something. Have you, what are your thoughts on that? So yeah, I mean, video ads um, can, are more catchy. Um, you know, so if you had, you, it's a real pretty simple to create. So if you go onto your Facebook business page and, and then create an ad from there, you can have the option to say, well, I want to do a video. I want to do a slideshow and then just put, you know, like four different pictures in there. It will automatically create a little video for you and then put, and it has like a couple of little templates. And so you can put the fill in the text there and, um, you know, and then boost that or, you know, create an ad from that. Um, 
I don't know that it's super necessary. I, you know, I, I think if you, if you are somebody who has a handle on general lead generating with KV Core and you've got, you're generating leads and you're converting leads and, you know, because you're just posting properties on Facebook or social media, um, then great. And if you're ready to take that next step and go fancy that way, great. But if you are doing that and you're just not getting any results, which you should be getting some, but if you're not just getting enough or you just want to take it further, then yeah, give it a shot. Okay. Um, Angela um, has a question about her custom pages. She must have been following my videos because she's a very good student, I'm, bet, I'm betting. And she um, created a custom page and she said it's not showing up. And so I want to show you what she's talking about. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do a custom page really quick. So this is my KV Core website. And what Angela's talking about is this, this drop down menu here of more. And then I got all these custom pages. So she said it's not showing up. I'm going to create a custom page and then show you what to do with it and then show you how to make sure it's, it's down there. So that, so I mean, I'm covering a lot of bases. So let me think about um, what kind of custom page I could create. <laughs> um, I think that um, somebody's chatting with me. Let's say I wrote a blog post and I think this blog post is, is so great that I think it should be a custom page. <laughs> All right. So, you know, a custom page can be anything. It can be, you can build the content or it can link to something else. Um, so like on mine, you know, I have, and I'll show you some examples. I've got, um, if I click here on home buying explained, it goes to a landing page where I have a home buying video, a home buying video, and then people can put in their information here and I get a lead. Um, and they see the video. Another example of a link, um, intro to renovation loans. Um, this is also a landing page. So I've got a little video about- Live, okay, we are live. I have a little video I did with a lender about renovation loans. This one goes to a custom page I built inside KB Core, my custom pages. And all it is, is this my little intro video. This one goes to Moving Concierge. This is Utility Connect, which you get with EXP if you're in the US. Um, and so this is where your clients can uh, give the information and then they can get help transferring your utilities. So anyway, that it can be a variety of things. But let's pretend I wrote a blog post that I think is amazing and think I it, you know, and it should be a its own custom page, let's say. So I'm gonna go find one of those. And just click on the, this latest blog post here. And then that's gonna allow me to see some of my most recent posts. And then let's see if I can pick one. Okay, this is how to get pre-approved for a home mortgage, um, I grab this link. Okay, so this is the link right here that I want to be my custom page. And so I'm gonna go here to WebIDX. I'm on my website manager and I've got website manager, site content, blog, embeds, widgets. So, um, under site content or right here is where I can find custom pages. So I'm gonna go to my custom pages, view and edit. And I am gonna add a new page. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to give it a title, how to get pre-approved. Let's see how to get pre-approved, just keep it smaller. Okay, so that's the title of the custom page. And instead of putting content here in this area, I just want it to go to a link. So I'm going to put that link there. And then I have to choose a category. Now, if you've never created any categories in here, um, you have to choose one or create one. So um, if you've ever purchased my setup, you've already got the category of more created. 
um, or you can just create your own category and name it whatever you want to. And then now that I've got that, I'm gonna save it. And then once I, I'm gonna just kind of hit refresh and make sure um, that it's in there. I'm gonna go to the actual website itself and make sure it showed up there. So I'm just refreshing it. It usually takes a minute. So, you know, there it is, how to get pre-approved. Boop, and then if somebody clicks on that, it's going to take them. So, so what Angela's saying is she's saying that's not showing up. And so um, it's, it's not showing up under more or it's the more category is not showing on her page. Um, and so that's her problem. And so that's where the next step after creating custom pages and assigning a category is you have to now go to your web IDX and go to your website manager here and click on edit settings. And this is where you can handle your custom navigation. Um, you'll notice here it says custom navigation. So I'm gonna click down there and it just kind of scrolled down automatically. So Angela, what I want you to notice where this says disabled, you just have to start typing more. So if I get rid of this, I you know that more, it's gone now. Now I can just click here and it should show up and I should save it. So, and then once that's refreshed and your page refreshes, then you should see this category show up um, on your, one of your menu items. And if you have a problem, then contact KB Core Support. A lot of times it's so funny. People who, you know, I mean, people that get my setup will do it a lot. People who I've never met before or never talked to or seen one of my videos once or somebody told them that I was kind of good at KB Core, <laughs> they'll send me a message about the problems they're having with KB Core. <laughs> like, contact KB Core Support. It's not me. So what you do here at the bottom right hand side, there's a little chat. You can see at the bottom right, it's a little chat icon. You just send a message and you can ask a question or report a bug that something's broken. And then you just, you know, put in your message here. And, you know, they like screenshots. So if you can show them what the problem is and show them what's happening, um, that is going to help you. Um, you want more with lead generation, lead generation, lead generation. I would love to, I love talking about lead generation. I just want to make sure that I point you all in this direction. And that is to my YouTube channel. What you can do here is you can click on this little search button here and you can just type in lead and then gen, for example, and see what comes up. Um, so that's my how to use KB Core Setup Lead Gen Tool. Okay, this is my Shazam series six, uh, sizz sizzling six lead gen tactics. Um, where are my leads? Do I have to get leads online? The pros and cons of generating online leads with KB Core. How to generate seller leads and follow up with RPR tools. Um, I even have how to get technical support. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Um, lucky seven squeeze pages. How to generate, manage, and convert buyer leads from Facebook Marketplace. That's kind of, that's an older um, one from a year ago. And since then, they've done a lot of changes on Facebook Marketplace, but you can finagle it. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to know this is here. Here's another one, generating leads with seller share squeeze pages how to build single property squeeze pages and what to do with it in KB Core. Um, there's, I mean, there's just tons of trainings in here that you can pick up enough to get by, all right? But I am going to still try to attempt to answer this question. So let's talk about leads. So this is, this is tough and this, every, every time I make this joke, I am preaching to myself, just so you know. But the joke is, you want leads, but do you deserve them? Are you following up with people? Do people that you have in your phone know that you sell real estate and do they know you're available to answer their questions? It's kind of like, like that. So, so anyway, so let's talk about generating leads with KB Cork. It is, it is super powerful. So let me be super clear about this. And I like being clear about this because some people, it's hard for them to grasp. 
they think that once they get KV core and if they do some stuff to the KV core to get it set up functioning better, that all of a sudden they're just gonna magically get leads. And that's not how it works. So, so you need to do some things. Now, um, options are to spend some money and go into here to the marketplace and to the marketplace and purchase um, this managed Google pay per click ads. Um, you could do core property boost. Um, you could do making it rain and that would get you some leads, but it, you know, it's, it's a pretty penny. And I think that if you can learn how to do a few things yourself, you could save a lot of money if you wanted to, when you create, when you generate leads, you have to create what we call squeeze pages inside your lead engine. And you have to take those links and you have to put them out there on the interwebs. <laughs> So if you purchased my setup, you got 14 or so squeeze page links to start with that you can use to just post wherever we told you you can post them and see what you can get. Um, that's one way to try it. Um, or you can, you can get more proficient on your own and start doing it on a regular basis. So let's do one and let's, let's talk about it. But before, before I do that, I just want to show you some results of my own. Um, and, you know, hopefully it'll encourage you and answer some questions at the same time. So I'm going to spend a couple minutes showing you something. And then I'll, I'll do one example of doing something simple to get leads. Okay. All right. So I just want to show you this. This is my smart CRM. And, and the newest leads that I get are up here at the top. Um, and so I just want to show you, you know, you might be in this situation and I see this all the time posted on workplace. If you're in EXP in workplace, I, you know, I can see a lot of questions like I'm only getting addresses. <laughs> That's not, why don't I just get, why am I not getting just more than an address? Well, it happens sometimes. And here's why. Because people, you know, they either go to your website, they post a squeeze page somewhere that says, get your instant home value. And they come to a page like this. And then they enter in their address and they click get estimate. And then it asks them to, e to either log in with Facebook or log in with Google or provide their email address. Um, and they think, yeah, maybe they don't want to do that. And so um, they back out and then they don't. Maybe they'd change their mind and come back in, um, but sometimes they just don't. And so all you get is an address. Now, my challenge to you is that is still an excellent lead. And, he, my, and what I always tell people is when I first started using KB Core and I did a few tactics that I had learned to generate a bunch of seller leads uh, at one time, um, I, um, got like 150 leads in three days for seller leads. And I was like, oh, getting leads is fun. Yay. <laughs> I like getting leads, but I didn't do anything with them. Did nothing. Some of them were, were leads like this, where they were just addresses. Some of them also had email addresses and phone numbers. And there was a mixture. It was a variety. When I went, when I finally, after a couple months, it took me about two months. And then I finally went through them all. I actually had my son do it. I paid my son to do it. <laughs> uh, I had him go through them all and find duplicates. So find, you know, there were the duplicate addresses or duplicate leads and then clean it all up. And so when that was all done, I realized I just had 98 good leads. Again, some with just addresses, some with also phone numbers and emails and some not. Okay, it was a variety. So then what I did is I went into RPR and it was just like about five or so months after I got all these leads because I got them like in a three day period. And um, I went on RPR and I was like, and those of you who are in the United States, hopefully know what RPR is. But if you're in Canada, I'm sorry, um, you don't have RPR, but um, go on RPR and, and put in the person's address and then find out the owner's name or find out when the last time this property was sold or if, you know, what the deal was. Cause I was like, oh, I'm gonna create these beautiful property flyers. I'll show you one. 
So I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna go in with these leads and I'm gonna send my calendar and a property flyer and they're gonna love me and they're gonna lift their house with me. That's what was in my head. <laughs> these are the, the ones I created on RPR. So it gives you, you know, the estimated home value automatically. I gave it this little headline, your home value estimate. I write them a little message and I have the same message for everybody. So I just basically copy and paste. And then, um, and then I print this baby out and I stick it in an envelope and mail it to him. And so, so anyway, um, so that's what I did. This, I was going to mail in my calendar and, and this flyer with a calendar. And as I was going through that process, I was doing this. It was like um, the first week of December. I remember I was doing it. I was mailing my calendar. All these leads I'd gotten were in June. Well, 18% of those hundred leads that I got, so 18 of them, were active listings now, were pending, or had just sold. <laughs> and so um, so that is the math, that 18% of these leads that you get, whether they give you a, a, an email address or phone number or not, will list, 18% will list their home um, in the next six months. So just be aware, okay? Um, so I wanna show you where I'm getting some of my leads. So this one, um, because he did provide his, his phone number and email address, um, because that lead actually registered on my website, then I was then the hashtag that I had created when I created the squeeze page came through Google Seller. So this particular um, lead came from my, my ad that I have running on Google. Okay. Um, and so I've got his phone number, I've got his email address, I've got his name, it's great. Fantastic, that's a great lead. If I go and find out, well, how many Google seller leads do I have since I've been running this ad, I can do a search here and I'm gonna go Google seller. Um, and what I'm doing is when I actually type in, this, in the search, um, I actually type in the hashtag symbol because I'm telling the CRM that I'm looking for that hashtag specifically. So um, I have 30 leads that have that tag. So that's pretty good. And I can see all the dates that I got them since I've been running this in um, October. Um, so cool. All right, so, so that's an example. So then the other types of leads that I'll do besides those, when I run a single property squeeze page to promote a listing, I'll put the address that that lead comes in. I'll, I'll know what, what it's for and how I got it and I can find all those leads. So, so my, to, to get to the point here, um, my favorite two types of squeeze pages to do to get leads are seller squeeze pages and single property squeeze pages. Those are gonna generate you the most leads. My two favorite places to create ads or posts um, to get leads is Google, my business page, and my Facebook business page. I'm going to quickly show you a squeeze page, and I'm going to quickly post it. All right. I'm going to go here to listing. So I'm just going to kind of look through here and see what's around. Now, you have to know what your own um, state laws are as far as advertising listings, okay? So I'm in Michigan. I can promote any other brokerages listing that I want to as long as in the post or the ad, um, I say who the listing broker is. So, hey, check out this remodeled three bedroom bungalow in downtown Grand Rapids. Uh, call me for a private showing, you know, and then in parentheses, I just put listing provided by Keller Williams Rivertown. I don't have to ask permission, but you need to know in your state, um, what are the rules? I'm not saying what your broker tells you to do. I'm saying what is your, what are your state rules? Um, you get to act within the state rules, okay? Because the reason I say this, because some brokers have opinions and I don't really care about their opinions. I care about what the state law says. <laughs> I'm a rebel. Okay, here's the one suggestion. What I would do 
is I would create a, um, this is kind of a way to get in front of other realtors too. I would create a Facebook group, private Facebook group for, um, you would invite a bunch of other realtors with other agencies and maybe other EXP agents too, um, to join the group where the idea is that um, anybody who posts their listing in that group will are is willing to cross promote so you can say you know this is like a, a listing a cross promoter group you know a realtors cross promoter group meaning hey come in and i know you post your listing you're giving us permission to also promote your listing and don't worry the rules are and then create the group rules that nobody's going to pretend that this is their own listing they're always going to give the listing brokerage credit or or say that the or say that the um permission was given by the listing agent or whatever you want me to do um to put the certain rules in there about how people are going to behave so you can so all, there's a bunch of other agents in your situation it's not just you that need permission to help cross promote each other's listings and what agent wouldn't want their listing to get more exposure I just think that's crazy. So sell it to other agents that way. Get more per, per exposure for your listings by having other agents help you promote um, the new listings in the area. You know, we have low inventory. Let's help each other leverage each other's listings to um, help generate more buyers and more, more listings. And so maybe create a cross-promoting Facebook group all right, so, um, so I'm going to just look for a listing here. Um, oh, that's cute. I like that. Um, let's see if it is pending. Probably is pending, but let's, oh, oh it's not. <laughs> okay, um, this one, four bed, three bath. That's nice. Cathedral ceilings. That is a lovely little home. Okay, so we're going to do that one. So I'm just gonna grab that MLS ID and I'm just gonna click on this to go to the property so I can see it. And I'm going to um, go now to Lead Engine. I don't have any drinks tonight, you guys. I just didn't feel like it, so I'm just drinking Diet Coke. But it's still happy hour. All right. So here's IDX squeeze page. That's what I'm going to do. And um, Faith, for you, if you have an additional MLS, when you click on select a domain, you're going to have two different domains to choose from. Like which domain do you want to, you know, drive people to? <laughs> so which listing is associated with what MLS, you know? So, all right. So I'm going to choose just the one that I have and start building. And then I've got these options. Seller squeeze, single property. I'm going to go to single property and I'm going to do the source. I'm going to be posting this one on Facebook um, and I'm going to put the listing ID here. And then I'm going to grab the, okay, it's 714 Mary Avenue. So I'm going to use that as a hashtag 714 Mary Avenue. So I just created that hashtag. So when I this lead comes in, that hashtag will be attached to the lead. So I'll be able to see what it was, how, you know, just more easily how I got that lead, what they were interested in. Okay. But I'm also going to add my hashtag that those of you who got my setup, because there's a few of you on here, um, can do. You can use this because you have this campaign ready to go. It's called Facebook Buyer. So the Facebook Buyer hashtag is not only gonna tell me that this is a lead that I got on Facebook, but it's also going to trigger my custom campaign that's geared towards Facebook leads, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is property of use allowed before registration. I'm gonna choose immediate. The reason I wanna choose immediate is because when people uh, click on the property, they will, be asked to provide their login with Google or login with Facebook or provide their email address. Now they're already in Facebook, so they're gonna be fairly likely to go ahead and log in with Facebook. So you're gonna generate the lead. 
Um, otherwise, what's going to happen if you leave it on the default of two, they are going to look at that property and then they're going to just leave the website and maybe never come back. And they won't have to register because they have to look at a second property or they have to leave the website and come back to the property link a second time before they're asked to register. So you're not going to get the lead unless you put immediate. So just put immediate. Just do it. Trust me. Okay. And then you're going to generate the link. These two links are the exact same link. It's just that one is a shortened version. And I just want to explain it quickly that you'll see the direct link tells the story of your domain of your squeeze page, what domain it's associated with, what MLS ID it's associated with, what source you're going to use, um, or what source you want to be recorded, what hashtags you're you're going to um, have added and how many views, how many property views somebody can get before they have to um, register. And I have it on one, which is immediately. Okay. Now, if I just copy this short link, I can, I should, if I want to ever have a reference guide to this squeeze page and I want to know what hashtags I used and when I created it and all that jazz, I should save this somewhere. And so those of you that got my setup, you know you have a, a, a squeeze page template that you can just add your own squeeze page that you created too. And those of you, like I think Angela or somebody on here um, had found my DIY KV course setup template that um, you can use. There's a lead gen tools page where you can just start saving your own squeeze pages that you create as a reference guide for you because nowhere, um, because nowhere in KV core are your squeeze pages saved? You can, they're not gonna, you know, if I leave this page, it's, it's, I'm not, I can't get it back. It's gone forever, okay? So that's my diatribe on that. So anyway, so now let's just put that short link in the URL here and um, you will see that it will automatically convert to the long link. And there is my pretty listing. And again, I just wanna look at it really quick here. Um, four bed, three bath, large lot, center island, cathedral ceilings, all the fun things, walkout basement or lookout basement, good enough. Okay, fantastic. All the things that you want, oversized garage, I love it. Here's a little quiz for you as I'm doing this. My quiz is, what are my two favorite and I think most effective types of squeeze pages? And what are my two favorite and I think most effective places to post squeeze pages to get leads. Yeah, so Google advertising or Google, my Google My Business page or Facebook. And then um, my, my favorite squeeze pages are um, get your instant home value seller squeeze page or a single property squeeze page promoting listing. Those two types of squeeze pages. Those two will generate you the most leads. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my business page. And we're gonna post this little baby. I'm not gonna just create the post from here. I am gonna go into my um, publishing tools and I'm going to create my post. Um, and I have the option to also post this on my Instagram, but I'm not going to because it's I'm sharing the link and I, I just want people to click on the link and I wanna get the lead. That's all that I want. <laughs> so. I'm just going to leave it on my business page and I'm going to hit text here and I'm going to put the, the link in here. So I'm waiting for this whole, the picture of the listing to, to preview so that I know it made it. <laughs> All right. So it did. So then, and it's going to show up here in this link preview spot. Okay. And now that I have that, I don't need to have this text anymore. And oops. I'm going to delete that text. I'm going to say something. Um, I love this new listing in Holland. Cathedral ceilings, oversized garage, large lot, four beds, three baths, three full baths. Center, kitchen, island, the works. 
Ami for a private showing. Um, and then I gotta say, cause I gotta follow my laws that it's provided by Remax Lakeshore. Listing provided by Remax Lakeshore. The other thing I'm going to tell you, I don't wanna spend a ton of time on it, but um, Facebook loves emojis. So I am going to put some emoji emojis in here. So it's kind of more eye catching and people seem to respond. And then, um, so anyway, so I'm done with that. I'm, I'm happy enough with what I wrote here. I'm not gonna do this call to action where it says get messages. I don't want people to message me. I want them to click on that link and I want the lead to register. So I'm not gonna choose that. And then I'm just gonna publish that baby. So now it's publishing, um, but wait, there's more. So this is where instead of you using something like Core Boost through KB Core and paying like $100 or $250 or whatever kind of crazy money they want you to pay for something, you're gonna do it yourself. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your um, post that you just did from the publishing tools I'm in the published post in publishing tools. I clicked on it and I can see it here and see what's happening. And now I'm going to click on boost post. Um, here where it says automatic, let Facebook select the most relevant objective. I'm going to change that because I just want to send people to my website. I want people to click on that link. That's what I want. Okay. So, and you can leave it on automatic. You'll still be okay. Um, but I'm just gonna do that instead. And I am gonna leave the learn more button. I want it to say learn more. Um, I don't wanna get messages. I want them to learn more. I have to choose the special ad category of housing. Otherwise the ad will get rejected. And then I have this audience that I kind of use a lot. Um, you have to do, you know, since you're using fair housing, you can't, you can't change the ages, but I can change other things. So I'm gonna get, um, See, I'm going to get rid of Grand Rapids and I'm just going to put um, Ottawa County. Yeah, I'm going to do Muskegon County too. So I just did those two counties. That's where I want it to show the ad. And then I've got these interests I can choose. So I always choose home improvement, house hunting, and Zillow. If I choose those interests, um, the ad's more likely to get in front of people who are in that mode. I'm gonna be happy with that. I'm gonna save it, save my audience. I'm gonna reset my budget. And I'm gonna say, for now, I'm just gonna put $5 on it. If this was my own listing, you know, I'll sometimes I'll put $25 or $10, it just depends. Um, but I was showing, you know, five, this will get me like 20 leads probably for five bucks. So it's just gonna, be on there for one day, that's fine. It's gonna be showing up to 2000 people. Um, now, Facebook Pixel. I do have a fix Facebook Pixel. I'm gonna check that. If you don't have one, it's not the end of the world. It's already got my correct business account. So now I'm gonna boost that baby. And now the ad's being submitted and then um, I'll get a notification after a while that says it's running or that I got rejected. Um, if it gets rejected, you wanna go into your business.facebook.com account and request a review and just make sure you did everything right. And the biggest thing that you, people usually make mistakes on is that they don't put it, that it's a special ad category um, for housing. And that's what you gotta do. Let me just address this whole pixel thing. So what is a pixel? It's basically a tracking link that's going to, anybody that visits your website and has a Facebook account you can create a custom audience with those people. So if you add the Facebook pixel to your um, KB Core website, and then you direct your business facebook.com account to create a custom audience using that pixel, you can then start marketing to that audience. You should have by now, hopefully, 
a business.facebook.com account. And this is where you are going to, see, I think it's under events manager. So this is like a different account than your Facebook account. It's called business.facebook.com. And what you do is you make sure you have this account, you make sure your credit card is attached to it. And then you make sure your business pages in your Facebook business pages that you want to be um, connected to it are connected to it. And yep, I, I collect, I, I went to events manager in the business.facebook.com account. And that's where you can create a new pixel. And so I've already created a pixel for KB Core. And then you create that pixel and then you put it inside your KB Core setting. So once you create that pixel, um, it gives you a code. Um, okay, so when you set it up, there's like a pixel wizard, it gives you a code and then you Put that little baby um, in the web IDX. And I'm going to point this out to you, but then I'm going to um, share an article with you or show you how you can get it to get you started with this because there is a learning curve to it. You can do it, I believe in you. Um, here on web IDX edit settings. And I just want to show you where my pixel is. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. It's in the cut. You put it in this custom header section, Facebook pixel code. That's my code. And that's where I saved it in the custom header. So I just want to show you where you, you can get started with this. You're going to go here to the learning portal inside your KV Core dashboard. And you are going to go to get help at Inside Real Estate. God, they're always changing this thing. Um, and you go to KV Core platform. See all articles on KV Core. Okay, we're going to do that. And then I'm just going to go Facebook Pixel and how to install a Facebook pixel. Ta-da! So it gives you a how-to in here. Here it says, assuming you already have a Facebook advertising account set up, that means you have a business.facebook.com account set up. And then you're gonna just follow these directions, okay? And um, they're usually pretty good. So um, you just have to follow it step-by-step. Step. How do I budget for the boost in Facebook? Oh, I know, Angela, don't, you have to not be afraid. Um, you know, I mean, if you are afraid, you could do like one of those um, like Visa cards that you can, you know, that preloadable, preloadable Visa cards that you just have like, you can, you know, only put like $25 at a time or $50 at a time, um, you know, and then you can just keep loading it so that you're not using your own card, you know, that's one idea. Um, you know, it, it can get pricey if you are um, not paying much attention, but I probably spend $10 a week, <laughs> maybe, tops, tops. Um, and uh, yeah, so there you go. You know, and also um, I would say on those, if you have to ask permission, you know, um, just, you know, call all the, those listing agents or email as many listing agents who are listing a lot of properties in your area and just ask them, you know, um, you know, I am a newer agent. Uh, Tom, what's a good budget for a Google Home Value campaign? I would say a hundred bucks a month um, on my Google, my business page. I have an ad. Um that I put change up now and then. Um, and I promote, you know, maybe I do different counties like get your instant home value in Nuevo County or get your instant home value in Muskegon County or get your instant home value in whatever county. You know, I change it up every now and then. But I spend about a hundred bucks a month on Google. Um, I didn't when I first started cause I didn't have any money. <laughs> but now that I have more money, I do it. And you know, like, Tomorrow, um, there's a closing on a house I generated from KV Core. Um, I generated a lead, a list, a listing lead, a seller lead from KV Core. She sat in my KV Core for about a year and just got like market evaluations once a month. She got my periodic newsletters I send. She got my periodic emails I sent, and she called me one day and said, "I'm ready to list my house, and I'm going to get eight grand in my account tomorrow because of that." So, 
Yay. Do you have a class where we can see how to do an ad in Google Ads? Because here's how simple it is. And I'm just gonna show you. So okay. We, so oh, um, mm -hmm. what, what you wanna make sure you do is you wanna make sure you have a Google My Business account. It's free, okay? Um, so go, just type in Google My Business and create an account. Now it takes, there is some time that it takes because they have to mail you a postcard and it can be to your home address. You do not have to show your home address online. You do not have to show it online, um, but you, you have to have an address where, where, Kate, where Google is gonna email you this postcard that you're gonna, uh, it's gonna have a code in it that yeah. you're gonna verify. Yes, okay. I have I have that already. What happened is I, I hear that Google My Business is very difficult uh, in the time. You have to have a lot of time. You know, they say that the, the ads in Google is like more difficult than Facebook. So I just know what is your experience. No, it's really easy. It's really easy. And I'm, no, uh, I'm talking about results. I'm talking about getting real leads, you know, with Google that is difficult more difficult than facebook so that is my question you know my, my um, i don't know if that is okay or, or what do you think about that i don't know i just tell you that i spend a hundred dollars a month and i don't feel like removing it because i like the leads that i get okay okay so okay. you know what's nice too is you can pause it like you're not stuck with spending that much money all the time like you could just try it like you know, I, here's what I'll tell you, brand new agents who don't have money, um, cheat and steal <laughs> in the way that you're going to go on next door. So those of you that know about the next door app, um, you know, you're not really supposed to other real, you're as a realtor, you're not supposed to like, um, promote yourself unless like, you're only supposed to do it if you sponsor a zip code, but try to get away with on the next door app in your own personal neighbor account um posting an instant home valuation page um just say hey neighbors uh, if you're curious about your home value um because of you know the crazy housing market right now you can get it here you know i thought i'd share this and you know before next door takes it down you're probably going to get like a decent amount of leads like you might get 30 leads before somebody shuts you down <laughs> so so that's one way that's the first thing uh that i want to say um but then um as far as paying you know you could just on here on google ads so i was on my i was on my google my business page and then you just go here to um create an ad and it takes you here and, and you just, you create the ad. It's, it's really easy. And I don't know, I do pretty okay. So I have a hundred dollar max, monthly max, spend about $3, $3 a day. This is my area of where um, I'm, my ad shows. And um, it says, what's my home worth in West Michigan? And um, it was easy to do. Um, and I, you know, I mean, I, it would be great if I got a lot more leads, but the key, the key is not just having a Google My Business page, but really making sure you have an online presence in general. And is your task for yourself is to just type in your name in Google and make sure you own as much as you can. <laughs> make sure that you are posting on Facebook and you're posting on LinkedIn um, and that you've created as much as you can as far as content on your website. I'm happy to say that my EXP KB Core website is now second. It used to be way down there, but because I do, a, you know, post a lot of squeeze page links and I have a lot of content and blog posts and custom pages now, and I have my SEO areas all lined up, like this is more likely to come up now, um, even just with my name. Um, this is my WordPress website. That's always first. Um, there's, there I am on YouTube. There I am on Nextdoor, which is fun. I got eight recommendations. Neat. Don't even know why. Um, <laughs> create, create a Nextdoor, um, a Nextdoor.com business account. It's free. You don't have to sponsor ad to have a page, um, but it does help if you want to do it, you know, sponsor something once. Um, make sure you have a, you know, just make sure you're online everywhere so that if somebody types your name, that you are somebody, 
You know, if they pick up your business card and they just type in your name and they can't find you, you that they're not going to trust that as much. Um, you know, like I meet a lot of agents and like, maybe I'm interested in like recruiting them for EXP and I'll type in their name and I can't find them anywhere. I can't find their phone number. <laughs> I can't find a picture of them. You know, um, you, you, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an unfortunate thing, I guess, but I think it's fine um, to be is to be everywhere you can be. Um, you have to be online now. So I don't know. I think that's going to help you get more um, responses to your Google ads if you have a strong online presence in general. And that's going to help you get more leads in general, whether they're free or paid. The more online presence you have, the better. So have a Google My Business page, have a Facebook business page, have an Instagram account, have a next door business profile, have a LinkedIn profile, have a Twitter account. I mean, it takes a long time to build it, but if you can just come up with a system um, of, you know, just posting even once a week to all these different things, you know, sit down for, you know, one hour, one weekend and just schedule a bunch of posts or post, you know, all at once, at least once a week, at least it's better than nothing. Okay.